Welcome back, folks. We are back in Dyson Sphere program, and look at that view here from Mars 3. We're at the Dyson Sphere, and we have Mars 1 and Mars 2. Let's turn off space navigation for a second here. Man, that looks good. It looks so good. And we have a bit of extra uh, critical photon production. So. We have this here on Mars 3, and then we have the setup over on Mars 1 as well. Uh, and if we take a look at our production, we're up to 1360-something. Let's just try and look at one minute. That's 1390 or so. So it's much better, much better. But not entirely good enough yet. Uh, actually, let's pause this for a second, because I want to head over to Mars 6, which means that we're going to need the space navigation. And Mars 6 is there. And let's go. Let's go. And we want to hit the planet straight on. There we go. Oh, and we are just in the right spot. So all of these are actually filled up right now, because we have a full line, and we actually have s almost 7,000, and we have antimatter stored up, it's beautiful. So let's start researching. Man, look at that. Everything is researching, isn't it gorgeous? It's going pretty fast. It is going pretty fast. What is our hash rate right now? Uh, where is the hash rate? Can you see the hash rate? Oopa. Some extra efficiency. Can't see the hash rate here. That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying. Where can I see my hash rate? Can I see it here? Yeah. Okay. Why did you just stop? Oh, because <laughs> you ran out of whites. So it's basically until here that we can manage to go. not producing what are you missing you are missing which ones are these greens of course all right extra max core energy we're up to what a lot we definitely need to set up some more quantum chips. And for that, we're gonna need more Casimir crystals. And probably gonna need circuits as well, maybe. Graviton lenses are fine for now, at least. It's the quantum chips that are the problem. Quantum chips are the problem. How many do we have left here? Not that many. Which means that our science is gonna die. So let's go... Hmm, let's see. For the quantum chips, we need processors. We are making a lot of processors. I kind of think and hope that we're making enough. 
We need Casimir crystals and we need titanium glass. Okay. So... Casimir crystals... We're gonna need the optical grading crystals, right? Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Here in Mars, we are not tapped into optical grading crystals, it seems. Where? Do we have optical grading crystals on Mars 1? And we have Kimberlite ore. And fractal silicon and a lot of it. So let's head over to Mars 1. And take a look at the optical grading crystals here. Uh, where is Mars 1? There. Let's get over there and see. We have more than seven gigajoules of power st stored up right now, which is wonderful. Look, there's much one. So, where do we have the optical grading crystals here? Base plant landing. Optical grading crystals. We are hooked into them. We're just not using them. Now we're running out of space over on Mars 2, so I'm kind of thinking that we might set up some uh, production here as well. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, plenty of power right now, and we can easily get more with some suns or stars, artificial stars. So why don't we set up some production here at the equator? We're gonna need some of this. the equator it is right here and there's no uh, what's it called ore patches there are no ore patches around so that's good Let's find uh, where I can't see that here. It's just okay. So here we have a so here we are one eighty. That's fine. Okay, let's start building. We need. We need transportation first of all, and we'll do is it three and a half. I, out I go. I think. I think we can manage with two and a half. To be honest, yeah. Okay. So for the Casimir crystals. We're gonna need uh, two of each for one. So if we do 
60 a second. 60 a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, production. Uh, let's come out here. Let's just stick one down so we can see. Uh, Casimir crystals. We're going to need a lot of graphene as well, but that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. We can definitely make that. So... So the limiter is the optical grading crystal. These take four seconds to make. And... Need six. So that's basically... 50% on top. So if it needed four... Actually, no. The hydrogen is lim the limiter. So... We can actually only stick ten in the ten in the line. Then we're maxed out. Right? Right. Because four seconds that means it needs three every second, which means that we can do 10 because that's 30 a second. So 10 in a line. Okay. So if we do, uh, let's say we want, we want optical grading crystal, we want graphene, and we want hydrogen. And we want space waters. And we want some of you and some of you. Okay. And you know what? We'll stick you in there as well. Say space warper. 100 local demand remote storage. Okay. And then we need to get out Let's start over here. Something like here. And so how are we going to do this? Let's bring this out here. guys out here then we'll bring optical grading crystal out here and an output line here and actually so no, let's do this, we'll get the optical grading crystal there, and then we'll have an output line. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, two machines can share an optical grading crystal, and they can share a... And they can share the output line. So this is fine. 
And then we need uh, hydrogen. And we need graphene. So that's one set, and that uses up five. So we can have one more set. So we're going to need... Now, we can share the graphene on this one. Ah, you know what? This is a stupid way of doing it. Let's take this out. So we'll do hydrogen here. And then we'll do an output belt here. Then graphene and optical grading crystal in here, and hydrogen and output. So if we do something like this. This is hydrogen. Then we do optical grading crystal here and graphene here. And then hydrogen here and an output. Now that's better, I like that better. So then we need you here and here. Actually no. you here and here because we want hydrogen to come out here and come up this way and we want optical grading crystal to come down this way and graphene to come down this way. And hydrogen to come down this way. And an output line. So there. do power just like this, okay? Alright, so let's stick in some sorters. I'm gonna need more belt. So hydrogen and you output I mean and then do that, and then we'll do hydrogen, hydrogen, output, and output, and then we'll do 
input, 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 right? Yes. And then input, output. Okay. Now, belt. Can I get that from here? No. Can I get it from the other end? Yes. Let's see how many. <laughs> I've barely used any of uh, the uh, antimatter fuel rods. It's absolutely insane how long they last. It's crazy. Okay, so now we need to get the belts going. And it's not that far. Because we can only do 10 in a row. Let's just do the first line here. And see... How far we actually need to go with the belts. So... Whoops. Let's restart that. I'll be right back. Right. I thought that the copy inserter mod had been fixed, but unfortunately it has not. So we will have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, it did give me uh, the opportunity to make this a little bit nicer, so now it's completely symmetrical. We have hydrogen, hydrogen, Casimir crystals, and then we have... Um, graphene, optical grading crystal, hydrogen, and Casimir crystals. So it is completely, completely, uh, uh, well, what's it called? Aligned or perfect. It's perfect is what, is what it is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. So that's as far as we need to go. That is as far as we need to go. Here. Do that. Do that. Do that. We can actually do that, I think. And then here. There. That should be all right. So let's get this going. There. I really should power this up, shouldn't I? Um, somehow. Seems like I'm equidistant from everything. Let's get some power here and since we're not using this we can use it there and I think we'll come actually let's put it there that far. Let's just get it going as far as it will go. And get it down here so that we get some power. There. That should give us power, right? Right. Charging up. Good. Okay. We have everything in here. Good. So let's continue this. And we'll get these Casimir crystals going in this episode. So that. 
We are ready with those. Okay, let me uh, stick in some sorters and then I'll be back. Okay, we have sorters in and we have given them recipes. I forgot to do that, stupid me. But we have everything set up now. So let's say local demand, remote demand, local uh, storage remote demand, uh, local storage remote demand, local storage. I actually will do local supply of these. Okay. So we have some stuff coming in. And this will actually be local demand as well, because I think we'll make some graphene here. But we have 10,000 graphene coming in, 8,000 optical grading crystals and 9,000 hydrogen. And we have completely stopped research now because of the missing uh, stuff. All right, so that was hydrogen, I think. Yeah, that was hydrogen. And it shouldn't have a problem getting all the way down. Should be able to do it. Yes, there it goes. That's also because the machines aren't going, but if my math was right, then uh, it should be fine. We also have graphene already. Well, that's kind of nice. Oh, we have everything now. And we have Casimir crystals being made. Excellent. Excellent. Now, how many are we producing a minute? Local planet. Uh, Casimir crystals. Not that many right now. But it hasn't been a minute yet, so let's just give it a minute and see how many we're actually producing. So each of these is, so four of these is one a second, that's two a second, two and a half a second, so this will be ten a second, I, I think. So one a second, two a second, two and a half a second. Five, ten a second. That seems like it should be what we're getting. Uh, that seems to be incorrect. So no, so ten a second would be sixty a minute. So. That seems about right, right? More? Uh, 10 minutes, let's do one minute. Okay. Oh, it should be 600 a minute, man. Math, math. So if we set up three of these arrays, then we'll be producing 180 minutes, which would be 30 a second. Which is where we want to be. Which is where we want to be. Whoops. We're already up to a thousand Casimir crystals. That is wonderful. We're lowing running low on optical grading crystals, I think. What are you bringing? 
actually sure what it brought us. Okay. We are getting stuff. What are you? You were optical grading crystals. We're running out of hydrogen. We are running out of hydrogen. Even though there's 10,000 on the way. There's 10,000 hydrogen on the way and it's not enough. Some more. Wow. So I think we need to set up some um, some resource towers to just request hydrogen and optical grading crystals, maybe. Because when we get another three of these going, then we won't have enough. I am fairly certain. Well, I am certain. I'm 100% certain that we won't have enough. Hmm. Where do we want to do that? I guess down here. How are we looking for power? We're looking okay. So if we stuck you down there. There. I'll give you all some power as well. Oops. There. Oh, uh, one more. There. Then we'll give you all some of these. Request hydrogen and optical grading crystals. Remote demand, remote demand. Local supply. And we'll do the same for you. Hydrogen and optical grain crystals, and we'll do remote demand. Remote demand. I actually think we don't have enough hydrogen now, which is worrisome. But I do know where we can get some. I think. Uh, hydrogen, optical grain crystal. Demand. And over here. Double demand remote storage. Get some of you in there. Get some of you in there. Hydrogen. Optical grading crystal. Remote demand. Remote demand. And then it's you. You're already done. So that's it. 
So that's four towers requesting that stuff. But it's not getting any. Getting a little bit. And they're getting a little bit. It's getting a thousand optical grading crystals. Okay. So, now where is our production? It's over here. And it's going, but it is missing optical grading crystals now. Let's do local uh, remote storage. local demand so those four up there will be requesting everything for these guys or for the, the optical grading crystals and I think that's fine so we could actually now nah, let's leave that like that and we need to set up two more of these now how much space does it need it needs just one, two, so if I do here, no, nope, it needs to be here, that should be about right, let's fill you in. And we'll do, uh, Two more of these here. I hope we can. How many are in between these? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. Yeah, I think we can just fit it, maybe. Just fit it. I really hope we can. One, two, three, that's one, two, three, four. So you're too close. So we can't fit it. Dang it. All right, well, we'll do over on this side then. So these three will be that. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the Dyson Sphere before we end the episode. Man, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's just magnificent. How is it actually doing? 21.4 gigawatts. It's reducing now. That is absolute madness. And these are really, really close to being done. As in really, really close. Some of these up here are done. Man, I love this game. Man, I love this game. It's just a steady stream. We're sitting around those 2400 solar sails in, in orbit at all times, and I think that's fine. And we could actually stick in the next section down here if we want it but I don't think I want to do that right now I want to fill up the sails a bit more before I start doing that yeah that's what I want to do okay well uh, in between episodes I think I'll set up the other two Casimir crystal productions and then we'll see how that goes it's gonna be a lot of hydrogen and optical grading crystals that we don't have enough of so we're gonna have to go get some more optical grading crystals we're gonna have to go get some more Casimir crystals now we did have optical grading crystals here yes we did so how about we find the optical grading crystals here and say you local supply 
That should help some. That should definitely help some. Look at that swarm. So now we're keeping up for a little while until those 10,000 are gone, which they basically are now. So yeah. Ah, it's kind of holding. It's kind of holding. Not really though. Not really though. Yeah, it's gonna drain. But it will definitely be a help. Oh yeah, huge help. Now we're draining all the... The hydrogen. The hydrogen is set to local and remote demand. Here comes something. That is optical grading crystals. Yeah, so now we're running out of hydrogen. Uh, man, do we have any hydrogen up here? Not there. There we have some on the way. And here, nothing. Here, nothing. Here we... No. It's just empty. Uh, there's a thousand optical grading crystals on the way. No hydrogen. Okay. But we are getting Casimir crystals. We're not using them because we're simply not producing enough um, plane filters. So we're gonna need titanium glass as well, which is glass, titanium, and water. Now, water is something that we're going to have to deliver to here from somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have water? Oh, it's over on mass 6 that we have water. Yeah, we have water over on mass 6. Let's just zoom out here and take a look. So many ships going. It's crazy. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. It is perfect. Alright, so I guess we'll go get some water over on Mars 6. But first we need to set these up with the Casimir crystals, and then we can start worrying about... Um, Uh, titanium glass. And we actually need 60 titanium glass a second if we're doing 30 a second of uh, the Casimir crystals, which we will be doing. So, yeah. That's a thing. So, we need 60 a second of glass titanium 
and water. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to do that. But we'll have to do it in the next one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.